Welcome to everyone. In this course, we will learn how to migrate on-premises Hyper-V virtual machines to Microsoft Azure. I try to make it easy so that everyone can get success with their migration project. I will demonstrate it with single VM migration, but the same way you can migrate the multiple VMs. Let's see our lab scenario. We have a Hyper-V host by the name of Hyper-V host 01 with the local IP address 192.168.2.4 and Windows Server 2022 data center edition is installed on it and it is joined with the domain techiejack.internal and in this Hyper-V host we have a virtual machine by the name of VM001 and the IP address is 192.168.2.30 it is configured with 2 core CPUs and 4 GB of RAM and Windows Server 2019 data center edition is installed on it. I am using my MSGN subscription for this demonstration and our plan is to migrate this VM001 to Microsoft Azure. This course has a two parts. Let's see first what we will cover in our first part. First we will create a project in a Azure Migrate and then we will set up the Azure Migrate appliance. After that we will configure the Azure Migrate appliance and then we will start the discovery process for our virtual machine and then we will proceed with the assessment for our on-premises VM and will create a group. Then we will create a workspace ID and key and then we will install the required agents on our virtual machine. And in our second part, we will proceed with the migration and modernization. We will discover our Hyper-V host by installing Hyper-V replication provider and key file. We will register our Hyper-V host to the Azure Recovery Vault. Then we will proceed with the replication. After that we will perform a test migration and will clean up the test migration. Then we will migrate our VM to Microsoft Azure. Then we will set up the networking and perform the remote test. And finally we will try to remotely connect our migrated virtual machine from Azure. You can also get this complete course on Android app TechyJack as well and it will be free for 7 days. So let's move to our Hyper-V host and get started. So right now we are on our Windows Server 2022 that is a data center edition. If I show you the properties of this machine, you can see the device name is Hyper-V host 01. Memory installed is 16 GB. The edition is Windows Server 2022 data center edition. So I have this physical machine and we have installed the Hyper-V role and we have a 2 VM and if you see this VM001 that is running our aim is to migrate this virtual machine to Microsoft Azure. So in order to proceed with migration first of all we have to do the assessment. Let's go to the Microsoft Azure. I am using the MSDN platform. If I go to the resource group, you can see there is only a two resource group that is Network Watcher and New RG9. So first of all, let's go to the Azure Migrate. So you can type here Azure Migrate and you can see here it is. And here you have an option like Migration Goals, Server, Database or Web Apps, Database Only. If you want to migrate Database Only, you can choose this option. And for the VDI or Web Apps or Data Box, you have a individual selection for them. But in our case, we are going to migrate our virtual machine. So we will select this option Server, Database or Web Apps. Right now, there is no project. It's saying Create Project. So let's create a project here. So the subscription I am using is that is MSDN platform. So I will create a new resource group. These are the older existing one. So I want to create a new one. So let's say first migration RG. So let me click on OK. This is our first resource group and the project name I will say first migration and the geography location will be United States and the advanced connectivity method will be public endpoint. There is a two option public endpoint or private endpoint but we are going to select as a public endpoint. So let's create this project. So now you can see the first migration project has been created and we have to follow these options like this is an assessment tool. We have to do the discovery assessment overview and then we have to proceed with the migration tools. So let's start with the discover. There is a two option like discover using appliance or import using CSV. 
so here we will choose the option discover using appliance with the vmware vsphere hypervisor or hyper-v so as you know that we are using hyper-v so we will select the hyper-v and it's saying you have to complete these four and five steps that is generate project key download azure migrate appliance set up that appliance and configure the appliance and initiate the discovery so let's name your appliance and generate the key migration appliance okay migration app let's put the name it as a migration app and generate the key by the time the key is generating you can see the second step download azure migrate appliance that is a 12 gb of file and you can select this and copy the link address and you can put inside your browser and you can see the azure migrate appliance zip form it will be downloaded i have already downloaded it and i have extracted it so that's why it's showing you 27.7 gigabyte you can see inside this you have a hard drive so what we have to do we have to import this machine that is our appliance so not a new virtual machine we have to import it import virtual machine and click on next let me browse it it is inside the e drive here it is azure migrate appliance select it so it picked it up like azure migrate appliance version so i will select this click on next at this point you have to select copy the virtual machine and create a new unique id so we will select this option and we will click on next if you want to store this vm in a different location you can select and choose the option but uh, in my case let it be the default so let's click on next again next and it's saying that it is not possible to assign eight virtual processor because my this physical machine does not have that much of capability so let me reduce the number of virtual processor to three or two uh, let's do it two and click on next let me connect it to the network and let's finish it will copy and import the virtual machine that is the azure migrate appliance which is 12 gb and we have successfully created a project key so now our third step is to set up the appliance so here you can see it's saying like it should have a 16 gb of memory and 8 virtual processor 80 gb of disk storage it is recommended but in my case i don't have that much of memory and cpu so i reduced it our this step is going on and after that once the machine is completely imported we will configure the appliance and initiate the discovery so let's wait until the machine get completely imported so now azure migrate appliance has been imported let me start this machine it will ask for the license term accept the license term and let me put the password so now we are logged into the azure migrate appliance virtual machine and once you are logged in you have to wait for a while and the browser will automatically open up you can see this url and the port 44368 so now it's prompting for the terms of use so click on i agree and now it's checking the connectivity to azure and it will check the time now here we have to put the azure migration key we have generated so let me copy this key and i will paste it here and let's verify the key so the key has been verified so now it is updating the appliance here you can see it says new update installed you can refresh this now you can see the appliance was successfully updated so now it's time to log in let's copy the device code and i'll paste the device code here now let me put the email let me send the code to email let me try to sign in let me say continue you have signed into the microsoft azure powershell application on your device you may now close this window so let me close this and verify if it is logged in here so now it's initiating the appliance registration so the prerequisites the first step of the prerequisites is completed this can take up to 10 minutes to complete and after that we will proceed with the step to manage credential and discovery sources so now you can see the appliance has been successfully registered so our first step has been completed let's move to the second one manage credential and discovery sources so we have to add the credential of our hyper-v host so let me click on add credential and let me put the friendly name as a hyper-v host so the friendly name is hyper-v host i will put the domain credential that is the domain administrator and we'll click on save the source type is hyper-v i have given the friendly name as hyper-v host and the credentials so next step is to provide hyper-v host cluster details 
so let me add the discovery source here you can add the multiple server or you can import from the csv file as well but here in our case we will add a single item and the ip address of my hyper-v host is 192.168.2.4 and the friendly name will be hyper-v host so let me click on save it says validation successful and it picked the name automatically that is hyper-v host 01 techieject.internal but if i revalidate it it says validation failed again it says validation failed so what we have to do we have to open this port 5985 on our hyper-v machine so let's go to our hyper-v machine and inside the firewall let's click on advanced inbound rule and create a new rule and it's a port specific click on next and this is the specific port we want to allow click on next we want to allow the connection on the all network and let's name it as a azure appliance and we click on finish so let's close this go back to our machine if I still revalidate it, it says validation failed. Though we have opened the port, but the validation is failed. If I check this, it says update the host file on the appliance. So we have to update the host file as well. But let's try to proceed without that. Let's see if we get any error or not. Here it's asking for the credential if you have any SQL instance running or any web application is running. Though you can change this later as well. So let me disable this and we have an option of start discovery. So if I click on this start discovery, you can see no new discovery sources has been added because it's not recognizing it. So what we have to do, we have to put the host IP address in a host file. Let's go to the system 32 drivers etc. Here is the host file. Let's open with the notepad. And here we have to put the IP address that is 192.168.2.4 and the name of the machine is and the name of the machine is Hyper-V Host 01 that is Hyper-V Host 01 and I will put the DNS name as well Hyper-V Host 01.techieject.internal and let's save this and I will close this let's now retry to revalidate it and you can see the validation is successful now now if I again revalidate it it says validation is successful so now let's try to start the discovery so now it has been initiated it may take approximately two minutes to complete the discovery and you will be able to view the discovered vms on the portal and create as on-premises assessment after few minutes so let's wait for the discovery process to complete now you can see that discovery has been successfully initiated go to the azure portal to review the discovery inventory prerequisites has been completed step one and step two so let's go to the azure portal now so where all the step has been configured so let's go to the azure migrate once again here you can see right now there is nothing so let me refresh it so now you can see that three server are discovered and the os distribution is two windows and one is unknown so if we go to the discovered server so you can see we have a three machine in our hyper v host that is vm001 server 2019 and azure migrate appliance our plan is to migrate this vm001 and it has picked the ip address of this machine as well and you can see the software inventory dependencies and sql instances because we haven't given any credential for these so that's why it is in red here you can see the ram available is 4 gb and the disk is 1 and the storage is 127 GB and the operating system is Windows Server 2019 so now let's try to create an assessment here you can see the create assessment so let me click on Azure VM and let's create the assessment here the assessment type is Azure VM and discovery sources Azure migrate appliance you can see the assessment settings you can edit this according to your choice see the target location let's select the East US we will select no reserved instance and here you can see the vm size i say as on premises and from the vm series we will select all comfort factor i will say default and the pricing here you have a license program like you can go with the pay as you go enterprise agreement or pay as you go developer test so let me select pay as you go already have a windows server license i will say no and we'll click on save so next select the server to assess so we want to select the server to assess so here it says give the assessment name so let's give the name as a migration assessment and it's asking select or create a group if you see the existing group we don't have any existing group here so we'll create a new one so i will say migration group add machine to the group 
that is fine so here we have to select the machine so i will select this vm001 and will create an assessment so now the assessment has been created so let's go back to the azure migrate once again let me refresh this once again now you can see there is a one group so let's go and see the group migration group and if i click on this you can see the view assessment if you view the assessment here you can see the azure readiness ready for azure here it's a green and here's a cost like monthly compute cost will be 121.27 dollars and the storage cost will be 19.71 so we have a premium managed disk that will cost us 19.71 dollar if you want to recalculate assessment you can recalculate it or if you want to export the assessment you can export and download the file so if i open this file it will look like this monthly estimation storage so here is our monthly estimation is 140 dollars you can see all assist machines here that is vm001 and azure vm readiness is ready you can check for the disk here that is a premium managed disk assessment properties here it will show you the vm families target location comfort factor sizing criteria is as on premises and storage is premium managed disk so let me close this let's go back to the azure migrate inside the group here you can see the dependency agent based on required agent installation so if i click on this here you can see that it requires a deeper discovery which involves installation and configuration of the below agent on on premises machine so let's configure the log analytic workspace and i will type the name as migration workspace and the location i will select east us i will say configure so here it will generate this id's workspace id and workspace key and the, by the time we have to download and install this monitoring agent to our virtual machine which we want to migrate so we are using windows 64 bit let me copy the link address and go to my virtual machine so this is the one we want to migrate let's open the internet explorer and let's try to download that so let me click on run click on next i agree next connect the agent to the log analytics so let me connect it with this option because another option is connect the agent to system center operation manager we don't have any operation manager so we will use this option and we'll click on next so now it's asking for workspace id and workspace key so let me see if we have generated it here so workspace id is generated let me copy it and paste it to the this and let me copy the key we'll click on next so i don't want to use update right now so install it we have another download as well that is a dependency agent so i will download this as well and we will install it on our vm let me download this so it is finished so i will run this one i agree the agent has been successfully installed and finished so let me close this and let's go back to the azure it says once the installation of agent is done it may take up to 15 minutes to reflect in the azure migration portal so you have to wait for that to be reflected it still says that requires agent installation so we will wait for a while until it gets replicated completely so let's go back to the azure migrate and again i will select the server database and web apps so after waiting for some time let's go to the groups again and inside the migration group now you can see that dependencies agent base is installed so for this part is completed so that's it for this part and we will continue with the migration and modernization in our next part i would like to tell you that the next part will be released on the techiejack app you can download the app and watch the complete course free of cost up to seven days